New at 5.30, a story of compassion and determination. Eight neighborhood children make it their mission to save two tiny fawns who are suffering without their mother. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig has their story from Livingston County's Heartland Township. It's illegal for the general public to care for injured or orphaned wildlife, but after the families in this Heartland neighborhood talked to wildlife experts, they knew they needed to take action. Well, we wanted to find it so it didn't die because it was they were babies. After their families heard the cries from two tiny fawns for more than a day in their Heartland Township neighborhood, these children were desperate to help save them. And after their parents consulted with a wildlife expert, they knew they were running out of time. Because I didn't want them to die. And they knew the fawns would die because they saw their mother had been hit and killed by a car. But eight children from the Skendi, Taylor, and Nist families just couldn't give up trying to find them. It was kind of tiring because we've been chasing them all around the woods. But why was it so important for you to keep doing it? Because they didn't have a mom and they could have died alone. After hours of searching, the NIST children said a prayer to St. Francis of Assisi, the patron saint of animals. And a short time later, the Skendi's family dog, Max, found the first fawn. Max actually went up to the fawn and uh, Max started sniffing it and then uh, I came up the back of it and then I caught it. 15 year old Lexi caught the second fawn after spotting her in the neighbor's yard. She saw me and she just kind of laid down. And then so I grabbed a bucket and I sne snuck up behind her and picked her up and put her in the bin. Diane Selecki is a volunteer wildlife rehabilitation expert with the Howell Conference and Nature Center. She's now caring for the two female fawns and says unlike these deer used for education purposes because they were illegally raised by the public, the two fawns the children saved will be able to be released back into the wild. And if we get a really bad winter, they know they can come back to a spot here on the property and there'll be food there for them. And knowing these fawns are in the hands of a wildlife expert makes the children simply happy. In Heartland, Kimberly Craig, <laughs> 7 Action News. Oh, good oh, vibes. Nice. Our good vibes. Yeah. They could almost tell that they were doing good for them. Yeah. So. And the little girl said, without a mom. Yeah, it kind of makes you, you know, get a little <laughs> weepy. Anyway, good.